a mag to sell from the heart creation. We're creating is a process of the mind. It is now almost 3 o'clock in the morning, but I just had to make a video of my newest creation. Now, I had bought this cap here from the Dollar Tree. And I wanted to put, you know, of course, some rhinestones on it. So I put Diva on it. And then I was like, well, I want something on the rim. So, instead of going around looking for a rim template and SD and design bundles or whomever, you know, I decided that I was going to make my own. So, I will show you the process as we move ahead, and I did create it, and it came out marvelous. It took me all evening long, but I was able to complete it, and I will show you the process. This is my first creation in silhouette, and I wanted to do this cap that I had purchased from the Dollar Tree. I took a piece of um, regular copy paper and I traced it out here on the edge like so and then I went ahead and scanned it into my um, onto my desktop and then I converted it into an SVG as well as a PNG. Then I brought it over here in Silhouette. As you can see again, I brought it over here in Silhouette. And I pulled the file over. And I had to look at various videos. But I grouped the whole thing. I selected the whole template that I had, which is this one here. Once I brought it over, as you can see, it can fit right on in there. And I made the colors gray so that we can see them a little bit. And I grouped it together and then I went on the right hand panel and I traced everything so that I can freehand um, duplicate and place the rhinestone hose. I am using a SS10 rhinestone and this is going to be, uh, let me get my paper here, I thought I had everything right here with me, but it doesn't seem like I do, but let me go over here and get it right quick. This template here is a four point. 37 in height and 7.096 in width. Again, the stones are SS10s and it's going to be a total of 500 and um, looks like 15 stones. So, I don't know if this is going to be able to print, I mean, if this is going to be able to fit on my cap. But, I will be coming back shortly to show you the end result. Okay, I am now in Cricut Design Space. And what I'm going to do is upload my image. I'm going to press on Upload. And, I already have it here, but I'll go ahead and push that instead of going back into the documents for the sake of this video I'm gonna add to canvas now it comes in very small and I think it's because I don't have a page that you know I created on it but that's okay because as long as you have I'm gonna unlock the lock as long as you have the correct measurements this way you don't have to get rid of that box that usually comes over um, with um, rhinestone templates that you purchase. So my width was 7.096 and 
my height was 4.37 and as you can see it is in there so I'm gonna attempt look like I have a couple of them that's overlapping and I don't particularly like that so I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna change that up a little bit and then I'm gonna bring it back and I'm going to try to cut it and come back after I've cut it because I see some if you can look at this design real good I have it as far as I can and um, let me see if I can take oops let's move take that back go back again undo that and I'm gonna see if I can take it up just a little bit let's move it over and I'm just gonna raise it up a little bit as you can see there are a couple of these like right here in this area if you can see it I have something that's overlapping there I have something that's overlapping here and over here in this corner to the left so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna delete them out of silhouette and then I'm gonna come back and upload it again and then I'm gonna go ahead and um try cutting it and see how it works out okay as promised I got my template done and the uh, size of the template is 6.303 in width and that's 4.470 in height so I'm going to go ahead and put these rhinestones on here and I'm going to be using the regular crystal just like this hat is instead of it being six six um ss6 i'm going to be using 10 for the brim all right so i'm just going to sprinkle these all on here i i did cut it out so that it can be easier or should i say to say <laughs> to say some darn um flock I'm not sure of how many um, rhinestones this is, but I'll let you know in a second. You know, given that I'm not trying to actually um, sell this template or what have you, I'm going to go ahead and um, let you know in the description because I can't remember offhand. Well, who knows? I may put this on somewhere to sell. Sell my little digital file. But I'm sure going to be doing a lot of um, practicing with this because even though it took me a while, I think I'm going to like creating my own templates and things of that nature. This was pretty simple considering I just had to get the measurements correct. And after I got that correct, it was on and popping, of course. But I'm going to see what I can do. I really enjoyed making this. And, um, like I said, took me off guard. Had to look at several videos because I, I'm not a pro in silhouette business or silhouette, period. I just recently got the, um, the business edition when I saw rhinestone and or when I found the interest to rhinestone I said well let me purchase this so I can go ahead and have it and that way I don't have to you know worry about trying to find some other programs to rhinestone and I have been seeing a lot of YouTube videos about the silhouette so I decided I was going to go ahead and just give it a try and I've been doing what needs to be done in them so 
I'm happy for that. And now it's time to take it to the next level. And that's what I'm going to try to do, gang. Because these, these SVGs and all of that, they, it becomes very expensive. And I'm actually getting broke trying to keep up with all of them. So I'm going to start making my own. And it's, this is my first template. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, this is my first, and I'm so excited. I can't wait to put it on to my cap and see if it um if it does what it's supposed to do. Oh, my rhinestones are falling through the darn crack here. So again, it's about three o'clock in the morning. And I'm still up doing my thing. So, I just wanted to make this little video to show y'all my latest creation. And I thank you for being with me. And if you're new, and even if you're not new, Stay tuned because I'm going to be doing a lot of different things with these templates now that I know and got myself familiar with how it all works as far as creating. As you can see, it's not that many rhinestones in this template, but it's going to look pretty on that cap. Low, it gonna take that Dollar Tree cap and make it look like something totally different. I know it is. I'm just checking, y'all. My eyes is playing tricks with me now, so I'm just checking and making sure I got everything in here. It looks like I do. Okay, as you can see, I've taped it down and I've got it positioned. So what I'm going to do now, I have the heat press, easy press on 325. And I'm pressing for 30 seconds on each side. So I'm just going to try to squeeze this in here the best way I can. And do it bit by bit or side by side. to the next side. Oh wow, that's neat to me. I didn't even realize I had it on there. Okay, let me get my heat. Okay, now, this is the template that I had made within Silhouette, and I'm going to press this on the cap that we just did with the Diva, and we're going to see how this actually turns out. I should trim this up a little bit to tell you the truth because it may not go all the way on here. So I'm gonna just get my scissors and trim this up a little bit so that we can actually fit it on here without having any difficulties. And I'm just trimming this edge up here 
to be able to fit it on the cap since we're using a little handy easy press. Hopefully this goes better. It's a better process than the darn heat press. Of course, I will not be able to use this transfer tape again. But I'm going to go ahead and pull this template off. And I'm going to, I've already did all of my, I did all of my net brushing and everything. And just need to place this on here. This looks good. I see one has fallen off. So I'm going to put that one back on. I'm just going to lay this down like this. And that way we can go ahead. I'm going to take one of these off. And we can go ahead and this is the one that I actually lost. So I'm going to take this one. And it goes right here. Let's pull this up. It's hard for me to do this with the camera. I want y'all to see what I'm doing though. So it's kind of hard. I'm going to turn this around and then I'll turn it back around when I'm ready for you guys to see it. So I can line it up correctly. seem to be off well, track tonight for some reason. Okay, as you can see, I've taped it down and I've got it positioned. So what I'm going to do now, I have the heat press, easy press on 325. And I'm pressing for 30 seconds on each side. So I'm just going to try to squeeze this in here the best way I can. And do it bit by bit. Or side by side. to the next side. Oh, wow, that's neat to me. Okay, and here we go. What do you guys think? I think it came out good. So I appreciate you coming by and watching me <clears throat> do this diva hat. And as I mentioned, this template was um, created by me within Silhouette. No rhyme or reason, just a scattered method. And I hope you liked it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And you have a marvelous day.
until the next video. Bye.